Welcome to another Friday Functions video. This week in my Friday Functions videos, I'd like to answer two questions that came in from the public. Now, this video is for the first question, and let me tell you what they asked. They said to me, Dear Audrey, here's my problem. I want to create a form filling scenario with my SharePoint list and I want to give feedback to the user in a summary screen of what has been filled out in the form. When I try to do this, it seems like Power Apps only wants me to refer to the data in the list, but I want to summarize the data that has been filled in in the form before they press save. Can you please tell me this is possible? And so the answer to the question is, yes, it is. But there's a small nuance here that you need to be aware of. And it's so easy once you see it and you'll be like, wow, I wish I had noticed that before. And that's what I'm here for. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and click on customize forms. And then I'm going to allow the customized forms to load. So I may pause the video to give it time to load. And then I'm going to show you the magic to how you can make a difference between what's in SharePoint already, which is usually referred to as this item or SharePoint integration versus just give me what they have been typing in this form before they press save. Okay. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to give this time to load. Okay. So now my form has loaded and now all I'm going to do is get rid of the fields I don't want. So I'm going to click on add or remove fields, which is usually the first thing I do with every form integration. Now I already did that to save time for you, but I would do that first, get rid of any fields I don't want from my list. And then the next thing that I did, and I'll just do that again so you don't miss it. I'll delete the display form here, and I actually took the whole form and made it shorter as well so that it takes up less space. Then I'm going to insert a display form, okay? So now I have two forms on my screen. Both are set to the building's data source, right? So when I customized my form, it gave me that data source, so I just need to select it in my display form. And then once that kicks in, I'm going to now convert that to just one column and then get rid of any fields I don't want. So I'm going to get rid of these. This way you can see me do it. All right. And that's all I'm going to keep in my display form. I'm going to make that a little lower on the screen as well. Now, the display form is now empty because there's nothing um, assigned to the item property. So I'm going to um, make sure I go to the item property of this display form. Now, normally, this display form would be linked to the shape SharePoint list, right? So uh, normally, this would, if, if, if this was a more than one screen application, we would use the ID of the list item to get the display form. So if I type in here, um, let's type uh, the item property is SharePoint integration dot selected list item ID selected. There we go. Okay. So what the selected does is now it is literally connected to the SharePoint list item that I opened, right? So I'm going to go back to SharePoint so you can see what this does, all right? And this is like the default kind of how we, you know, kind of like set up things even when you do from app from data and you make a three screen app. The, the, the display form is always linked to um, the actual data that's saved. Right. So if you're clicking on an edit item in an, a three screen app, you're going to see the data that's saved to SharePoint. And that's what's going to happen here, too. So if I do this and hit edit. I'll just go look at this. OK, you'll see that the top is the form and the bottom is what's on SharePoint, which means that if I type here, 
and this is his this is the problem of the person calling me if i type here the bottom still reads what's on sharepoint and that's not what they want they want a summary of what's been filled out in the form before the person hits save okay you understand so this is what we have to do i'm going to uh customize this again and again i might pause and let it load Okay, so now that that's loaded, um, I'm going to do a little different thing with connecting this one, right? So I'm going to go into this one, and instead of setting the item property to selected um, and SharePoint integration, I'm actually going to uh, set this to be the SharePoint form updates, okay? Now, you'll see the difference here. Now I'm referring not to the integration list item that's saved, but to the form above updates, all right? So let's go back to SharePoint and see what that looks like. Okay, we should see a difference in how the bottom responds as I type because I'm focused on the updates and not on the data saved. And that's all it is to answer this question. Just waiting for it to load so we can demo that. Okay, so now we're gonna test what we did. I'm gonna hit Brass Town and I'm gonna hit Edit. And my new form will load. Now, this time, as I type my zip code, let's do a New York one. One, one. Notice on the bottom, it's actively changing as I type. Now, if this was on a separate, if this was on a separate screen, it would still be updating as I type. So sometimes you might want to have people fill out their form and then on the last screen of the app, kind of review what they filled in before they press submit. That kind of thing you can do. It's as easy as changing it from being related to the SharePoint integration item, which is saved, and the update item of the form, which is happening live before they press save. Okay. Now, if you have a problem with this, you do what I say and it doesn't work. Here's what I have found. Sometimes the browser will cache. And so I actually switched over to Edge just to avoid the caching. While, while you were paused, but if you, if you get a cache, right, you can just clear your cache and then your last change will kick in. I have seen caching grab my last change and make me think I didn't do anything. But honestly, if you do it exactly as I explained, it will work for you too. All right. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you at the very next Friday functions video. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.